Oakville's Nicholas Rampertab was recently awarded the TD Scholarship for Community Leadership for his work teaching robotics. I was one of the top 20 TD scholars out of all of Canada, of all 2,700 applicants. I was doing online school, you know, as you do in these days. And it was crazy. I mean, I was freaking out. We obviously we couldn't celebrate as we wanted to, but it was still awesome. All his community outreach was inspired by his love for robotics and STEM. So I started robotics about five, six years ago. Um, I started with Lego Robotics. Um, and so I started teaching at my local robotics club there, just, you know, teaching grade twos and threes. He enjoyed sharing his passion and began teaching at the Oakville Library. He simultaneously worked with his team to become international champions in 2018. Watching a robotics match with thousands of people around you is really exhilarating. Being in the spotlight, it was cool. So, you know, we got to do that two years in a row and that was really cool. Uh, as of high school, I kind of wanted to branch off from that uh, and kind of start doing my own things and doing my own initiatives to make an impact both in my community and my school. So While competing internationally, he'd already begun teaching patients at a rehabilitation hospital in East York. I got the opportunity to teach at Home Learview and you know it's not every day that you get to teach kids with both mental and physical disabilities. So to get this opportunity was really cool and I, it's honestly it's really awesome to see the the gears turning in their head, you know, like, even though they might not seem like they're capable of these things, they have a lot of capability and they're able to do a lot of creative things that I wouldn't have even thought of. Rampertab used this experience to create a new club at his high school, Holy Trinity Catholic Secondary School. Through that, I started my own program at my high school called Best Buddies Robotics, where I actually teach uh, the special needs kids at my school's Lego Robotics. So bringing the actual concepts into the classroom. You know, we have our own robotics team at school, and that's great, but they're not really a part of that. So I wanted to bring that to them. You know, these kids don't get that opportunity to have that hands-on experience. So it was really important for me to be able to include them, to give them that experience that I got to have. They were always excited, you know, they got to build, play with Lego, actually see their Lego come to life and start moving around, uh, as well as even start programming. So they don't get to program usually. So being able to move their robot around using like an iPad is really cool for them. Rampertab will be heading to the University of Waterloo this fall to study mechatronics. I mean, I've been working with kids with both mental and physical disabilities. So I'm hoping to maybe create something that might help them. So over the past couple of years, I've seen uh, a lot of kids struggle with um, communicating as well as um, dealing with technology uh, who have these kinds of disabilities. So everyone has their different disabilities. Every kid is unique, but if I could create something that might help a couple kids or more kids uh, at a lower cost than what we've been using, uh, it would be really awesome. And through Mechatronics, I'm hoping that I can get the skill set to do all of that. Reporting for Halden News, I'm Nikki Wesley.